Yes, fight fans, welcome back to the mob pre-fight previews and predictions. Going to be bringing you a big episode today of the upcoming heavyweight clash between the UK's Anthony Joshua and Ukraine's Alexander Usyk. Hit that like button for me, hit subscribe, drop any comments down below. Saturday the 25th of September 2021. I think a fight we're all really, really looking forward to. So get involved in the comments down below and let us know your thoughts. Let's get into it. So yes, we're nearly there. Anthony Joshua set to square off against Usyk on Saturday 20th of September. Fight scheduled obviously for 12 rounds in the heavyweight division and the contest is for the Unified Heavyweight Championship of the World. WBA, IBF and WBO belts all on the line. It's a bit of a tail of the tape then. Anthony Joshua steps into the ring with a record of 24 wins, one loss, no draws. Again, 22 of those wins come by way of knockout. AJ! Anthony Joshua. Usyk makes his way into the ring with an unblemished record of 18 wins, no draws. 13 of those come in by knockout. Alexander Usyk. Looking at the stats, Joshua. Power advantage, 92% knockout ratio. Usyk, no slouch in that department though with 72% for the Ukrainian. Anthony Joshua is the younger man by three years, 31 years of age, and has a height advantage of three inches over Usyk. That also extends to a four inch reach advantage as well. We've also got the interesting matchup of an orthodox fighter in AJ against the slick southpaw that is Alexander Usyk. And both fighters have a fairly similar pedigree of experience in the professional ranks, albeit at different weights. Alexander Usyk dominating the cruiserweight division, winning the WBSS series, becoming one of the greatest cruiserweights, I think, of all time. Anthony Joshua really stamping his mark after Tyson Fury's sabbatical, winning the heavyweight championship of the world in a classic signature fight against Vladimir Klitschko. Since then, a couple of bumps along the way, but again established himself as one of the greatest UK heavyweights on the scene and will be looking to go one further and beat what is probably, in my opinion, the most talented and skillful fighter he has faced to date. Let's get into some fighter profiles then and break this one down a little bit further than we normally do. Looking first at the challenger, Alexander Usyk. One word I'd use to describe this man is fluid. Probably the most fluid fighter in the cruiserweight or heavyweight division for me. Incredibly skillful, incredibly tacked in the ring. His feet probably up there with the best in the world of any division. Now his recent form, his last two fights were at heavyweight. So he does have a little bit of a gauge now for being in this division. But also looking at his last two fights, probably not his best performances whilst he's getting custom to fight him with the extra weight on. So most recently, Derek Chisora went 12 rounds. Chisora not being the most skillful of heavyweights, but very dogged, very, very tough man. And did give Usyk a bit of a sterner test than his previous heavyweight bout against Witherspoon. That being said, I think Usyk is definitely the most talented and naturally skilled fighter that Joshua has fought to date. Very, very good jab, very good right hand. All the basics he's got on point. And again, his feet, his hands, some of the best in the game. I think with Alexander Usyk, one thing that does get overlooked is actually his toughness. I think he's a lot tougher than he's given credit for. You know, he's obviously never been dropped, never been stopped before. A lot of people are saying Joshua could potentially knock him out early. That certainly is a possibility. But I think Usyk has shown more than enough in the fights I've certainly seen of him to show he has a chin and he is a very, very tough man. He's not just technically gifted and skilled he can dog it out when he needs to as well moving on then to Anthony Joshua very very good career so far for Anthony Joshua beating the likes of Dillian White Vladimir Klitschko Carlos Takam Joseph Parker Alexander Povetkin Andy Ruiz Kubrat Pulev and now Alexander Usyk so looking at Joshua overall massively improved probably one of the most improved fighters I think over the last five years Footwork has gone up drastically. Good straight right hand. Very underrated jab. Tough, rugged, 
know he got stopped by Ruiz, but I think he's shown time and time again that he can take a shot and he can dog it out when he needs to. Very good all-round fighter, great counter-puncher, probably one of the best in the game, and for me, has the best uppercut in world boxing, hands down. Excuse the pun. So yeah, Anthony Joshua, I'm a big fan of his. Again, there's going to be a fight that I'm going to be attending, really looking forward to it. I think in terms of how Anthony Joshua is judged, I think he's judged quite harshly because of the hype around him. What you normally find is a fighter that is hyped up normally then is heavily criticised because people like to go against the grain. So if someone is seen to be hyped up too much, people will then look to criticise to sort of level the playing field. So I think Joshua gets harshly judged. I think being from the UK, he is probably one of our proudest assets, realistically. And he's done incredibly well for himself, considering his experience. Picking up boxing gloves at 18, pretty much unheard of that you'd be a world champion, you know, six, seven years later. How many people can say they've done that? Shows for me Anthony Joshua's natural talents. And any technical flaws that he has for me are just through a lack of fight experience, not through a lack of ability. So, yeah, I don't have many criticisms for Joshua because any flaws that he does have, I can tell it's because he started boxing at 18 and not because he lacks any sort of technical ability. So looking at the prediction for this fight then, in terms of both fighters' viewpoint, I think Usyk needs to be smart. I think he needs to start quicker than he normally does. He has a tendency to start slow in fights. I think in this one, if it does go the distance, Usyk needs to try and get off to a fast start, control the centre of the ring, silence the crowd a little bit, who are going to be quite boisterous, I think, and on Joshua's side. Again, one of the bigger crowds we would have seen since the break in fans we've had. So Usyk needs to definitely get off to a really quick start, try and dictate the pace and control the fight, get Joshua into the later rounds, get him tired, and then look to capitalise and take advantage then. For AJ, I think he needs to come out of the blocks and make a statement early. So not necessarily a fast start like Usyk, but he needs to hit Usyk with something hard, hit him with something fast, get his respect straight away, get Usyk a little bit on the back foot maybe. I know Joshua likes to box off the back foot himself and counter punch, but I think in this fight, being the bigger man, the longer reach, he needs to try and be the bully in there and try and force Usyk onto the back foot, push him back, use that jab, use his physicality. Effectively for Joshua, this fight needs to be about using all the physical advantages he has because Usyk has many, many technical advantages over anyone he faces. So Joshua, for me, definitely needs to utilise every single physical advantage that he can. My prediction then, I can see this being a great fight, a classic fight, a throwback fight. I think it's got all the ingredients to be one of the best fights we'll see this year. It's going to be close. Am I going my head? Am I going my heart? I'm not sure. But I think Anthony Joshua at home will just nick this one. I think he's going to take it on points. That might surprise some of you, but let's be honest. A UK fighter on UK soil, same as in America, they pretty much start every fight with a two-round advantage. I think Anthony Joshua is going to show in this fight he has more technical ability than people give him credit for. I think Usyk's going to have a slow start and is already going to be behind by the time we get to the halfway stage of the fight. I can see Usyk then maybe overextending himself as he tries to chase. And there's every possibility Joshua could catch him and hurt him. But I think over the course of this fight, you're going to see the best of both men. You're going to see the best of Usyk's technical ability. You're going to see the best of Anthony Joshua's grit and technical ability. I have no doubts there will be rounds where Usyk completely outboxes Joshua. And there is every chance that Usyk either stops or beats Joshua on points. But personally, I feel if I had to go with one outcome is slightly more likely than the others. The way I see the fight going is a slow start for Usyk, a fast start for Joshua. And then as we get into the later rounds of the fight, when Usyk is trying to overreach, stretch and catch up a little bit, he will take over, I think, Usyk towards the later rounds. But I think if Joshua gets through that, I think Anthony Joshua takes this fight by a very close, maybe split points decision. And I think whatever happens, a rematch would be more than justified if we can't get the Fury fight early next year. But I do think we're in for a treat. This got all the hallmarks, I think, of the Joshua Klitschko fight. Similar sort of theme. 
similar styles again if you look at the two and I do feel like again this is going to be a heavyweight classic one for the ages and one that I can't wait to see let me know your thoughts in the comments down below how do you see this one going do you disagree do you think Usyk takes this with these do you think Joshua takes this with these it's going to be a very very good fight very entertaining and I think it's a very very close one but uh, you know can't deny I'm an anti Joshua fan maybe there's a little bit of bias there or British pride and patriotism I'm not sure but I think and I hope Anthony Joshua takes this can't wait for it thanks again see you soon